Our scripture readings today come from the book of Psalms, Psalms 46.10. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Psalms 37.7. Be still, therefore, before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his way, over the man who carries out evil devices. On Sunday, I saw a little baby resting in her father's arms at our church service. She lay there so relaxed and carefree in her father's arms. I was impressed with the strong sense of protection this young father's arms provided for his little girl. How beautiful to see the love of his father cradling a daughter who completely trusted him. This was a visual example and a reminder of what it means to rest in the Lord. I thought to myself how wonderful for this infant to enjoy the ability to rest totally and completely without a care in the world. This little girl had no worries, obligations, or duties to perform. She was free to be and act in whatever way she chose. If she wanted to smile or to cry, it was up to her. If she wanted to look around or go to sleep, she could do whatever she pleased. I thought, how oh, she really enjoys her freedom, because all too soon she would grow up to become like the rest of us. Burned, obligated with rules and expectations of how she should behave. I half whispered, sleep on little lady, enjoy your rest while you can. We live in a society where rest is discouraged. In the sales profession, the motto is, if you're not out selling, you're being out sold. Employees are rewarded for putting in that extra effort, showing up early and staying late. Salaried employees are expected to take some work home with them to catch up or get ahead of their responsibilities. The burdens of life weigh us down and there are financial concerns, health concerns, concerns for our families, our children, and so we work harder than ever before. It's been drilled into our heads that we Americans are lazy compared to workers in India, Mexico, China, and other parts of Asia, but we are far from it. In reality, the U.S. trails only a handful of countries in productivity per person. We as Americans work hard, we are productive, and we work a lot of hours. According to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development Statistics, U.S. workers work an average of 1,767 hours per year. Unfortunately, more work leads to more stress and a lower quality of life, and we know stress is the number one cause of health problems, both mentally and physically, and there are few things that stress us out on a consistent basis like work does, especially when it takes us away from all the other things that life has to offer. Things like resting in God, which is what God wants us to do to rest in Him, to let go of our burdens and let Him carry them. Resting in God is completely trusting Him. Resting in God equals peace. Rest means quieting all our racing thoughts, worries, and concerns and turning them over to God. We all need to rest to recharge and to be effective. If we don't rest, we'll experience burnout. Have you ever been so tired you couldn't wait to get into bed? On a trip to England, my wife and I left Minneapolis at 7 in the evening, and by the time we got to our hotel room, it was around noon of the next day. We were exhausted from jet lag, and as we fell into the bed, I could feel my body sinking into the mattress. What a relief to close my eyes and experience rest, sweet rest, sleep, I never thought, what happens if the bed doesn't support me? 
Or what happens if the legs fall apart? I never questioned the bed. I just trusted that when I laid down on that bed, that I would be at rest. That's what God wants us to do, to trust him, to rest in him, to let go of our burdens and to let him carry them. We often come to God in prayer and turn our burden over to him for a while. But when we resume our everyday life, we pick up those burdens again. We should just leave them with the Lord. There's an old hymn written by Charles Tindley that says, Take your burden to the Lord and leave it there. Here's a couple significant stanzas that may relate to you. If your body suffers pain and your health you can't regain, and your soul is almost sinking in despair, Jesus knows the pain you feel. He can save and he can heal. Take your burden to the Lord and leave it there. Or when your youthful days are gone and old age is stealing on and your body bends beneath the weight of care, he will never leave you then. He'll go with you to the end. Take your burden to the Lord and leave it there. Next time you're exhausted and fall into your bed for a good night's sleep, be mindful of that feeling of complete surrender and trust. Savor the beauty of being blissful and enjoying that state, just being still. And then take that feeling of surrendering your burden clear through to the next morning when you wake up. Greet the morning with the same confidence you said good night. Then you will understand what it means to rest in the Lord. Jesus said in Matthew 11:28, Come to me, all you that are weary and carrying heavy burdens. I'll give you rest. Dear Lord, thank you for helping us through the trials of life. Thank you for bearing our burdens whenever we bring them to you. Thank you for giving us rest, peace, and comfort. In Jesus' name, amen. I'd like to leave you with these points to ponder. Are you emotionally tired and burned out, discouraged? Do you feel like you have to be the source of strength that the others around you need? Or are you afraid that if you don't do something, then others will suffer? Are you lonely? Do you wonder if God even cares? If any of these questions grab your heart, or if perhaps you had thoughts even more difficult than these, let me encourage you. Rest in God. Rely on God. Be still and trust in God. Though this is easy to say, I know it's not easy to do, but it is the answer.